10 Celebrity Apex Tips for Cruising Like a Superstar. Plus, I have special advice on the bars. And I have some advice about the restaurants. Yeah, we did the research on our recent Celebrity Apex Cruise, so you can make the most of your cruise. That's right. What's tip number one? Stop by Cafe Al Baccio on deck four for complimentary pastries and cookies. And they make these fresh. Yeah. There's a wide variety. Cafe Al Baccio is the coffee shop on deck. Was it deck four? Deck four. And you can go there. You'll see a line of people. And that's a great place to go and get your coffees, beverages, otherwise. But those things you're typically are going to have to pay for unless you have a beverage plan. But you'll see the case of tempting pastries up front at the beginning of the line. If there's a line at all, if you see something, point at it and say you want it. It is on the house. Yes. I love it. So that good. Yeah. Tip number two. For a quieter, less crowded ocean cafe dining experience, head to the aft area of the buffet, where you'll also find outdoor seating and a pizza stand. A lot fewer people. Nicer seating, actually. Nicer chairs. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that that's a place where a lot of the crew members would go to eat. Exactly. They knew the secret. If you see the crew members, you're in the right spot. That's right. Head to the back for better, quieter seating or outdoor seating and fresh pizza. That's right. Tip number three, purchase a zero proof beverage plan. You can get your drinks and bring it back to your room for free. Yeah, we, we, we did that all the time. That was something you figured out day one. And they'll let you take two drinks at a time. You can I take know. Two bottles of water, two Diet Cokes, whatever you want. But that's mm-hmm. a great tip. And if you're enjoying these tips, uh, be sure to hit the thumbs up icon below and like this video. We appreciate it. Tip number four. Book an aft-facing sunset veranda. Most celebrity apex veranda state rooms have the infinite verandas, which sound really cool, and they, they can be. But the downside is that they're often locked. They lock them uh, when there's bad weather. They lock them so you can't open them during cleaning of the windows in the balcony areas and during maintenance. Uh, we talked to several people who had those and were disappointed how often they were closed. So they basically had an ocean view room when that was happening. The aft facing sunset verandas give you a great view too. Yeah. Tip number five is look for the hang tag in your stateroom. So you can order complimentary breakfast. So if you are a person who likes to have coffee in the morning mm-hmm. or tea or and just have like a piece of toast or a bagel, you can order room service for your room for first breakfast. Yeah, a lot of great stuff. We did it so many times. I think I tried every kind of cereal they had. And yeah, I love the bagels and oh, gotta have my morning coffee. So anytime somebody brings a coffee right to my room, I am I'm very happy. And mm-hmm. no charge, complimentary. Yep. And we found our hang tags for the breakfast uh, room service. We found them in the drawer. In the right. drawer, I think it might have even been in a room service menu book. But if you don't see them, what should you do? Just talk to your room steward and say, hey, can you, we get some room service tags? Yeah. Tip number six. Be sure to explore Eden during the day for a quiet, comfortable seating and an amazing aft view. And then return in the evening for creative, uh, mind-blowing entertainment. Very innovative. Uh, you got performers and some amazing, amazing creative drinks all in theme of Eden. And it's really relaxing too and quiet, yeah. kind of in the quiet daytime. Yeah. Yeah. in it, the daytime. Yeah. And they've got that spiraling uh, stair that goes along the, the aft windows mm-hmm. and they've got all these little nooks with these different types of seating. We enjoyed going there. We, we watched uh, in the evening some live music from, from oh, kind of peeked behind them from, from that area. Yeah. That's a great spot. Tip number seven, check the display inside the elevators for the current magic carpet location as well as where to find the gangway oh that's a great tip Uh, i don't think we noticed that the first day or maybe day or two but yeah it's a touch screen uh elevator button where you push the button for your floor but also it would say magic carpet deck five magic Mm -hmm. carpet you know whatever deck it's on because if you're not familiar with these uh these edge class ships the magic carpet moves up and down the side of the ship and they even use it uh, for getting off the ship when you're doing tender. So watch for the display. Also on port days, the gangway 
like you said, location is very important. And it's it is a fun place to have a drink because oh, it's yeah. like the ship's balcony. Yeah, it hangs over the side of the ship. You can look forward. I think we took some pictures looking forward and looking aft uh, from the magic carpet. It is That's right. it is magical. So number eight is when the bars are crowded, go to Cafe Al Baccio. Uh, it's on deck four. I think we mentioned this before. You can get wine, beer, and cocktails. All kinds of different things you can get at the bars. Um, cocktails I really liked. They're coffee house old fashioned. It's an old fashioned with vanilla syrup and espresso. So good. And uh, you know, there's other cool bars on board which we'll get to. But Cafe El Baccio is a great spot for when those bars are super crowded. They they have a lot of the same stuff. And I really like them for their lattes. It's so mm. good. Tip number nine for late night snacks and cravings: visit the mini buffet in the bakery area of Ocean View Cafe, or head further back for pizza. Oh yeah, fresh made mm-hmm. pizza. What if you got a sweet tooth? I know you have a sweet tooth late at night sometimes. So if you're craving ice cream, go to the front of the Ocean View buffet, and they have the ice cream bar set there. And it is an ice cream bar because they make. Fresh ice cream Ooh. plus gelato nice. plus they have a, a zero sugar Ooh. option also. Mm-hmm. Nice, it's really good. And that's open late too. It is right. Tip number ten: Download the celebrity app and use your cell phone for it. checking into your cruise, viewing activity schedules while you're on board, monitoring your onboard spending account, and controlling your stateroom TV, thermostat, and lighting. You can download the Celebrity app by checking out the link in the description down below. For more cruise tips, remember to subscribe below. And now for our bonus advice. My advice is on bars. First of all, the best bar for sports fans is the Craft Social Bar. They've got TV screens playing live games all around the bar. You can hang out with fellow sports fans, have some beer. Have a cocktail like the smoked old fashioned. I had that before the big game when it was quieter in the bar. Bartender took good care of me, served it up. He even filmed me enjoying the smoked old fashioned. Nice. Yeah. Next bar is the best bar for amazing views, and that's an outdoor bar at the aft of the ship. It's the Sunset Bar. Go there and have a frozen drink or cocktail, and enjoy the lake views. If you're there at the right time, you can even enjoy the sunset. Third, the best bar for a high energy evening is the Martini Bar. Right at the center of the ship, they've got this chandelier. They light up into a light show on, and they've got the bartenders that will get up on top of the bar and do their stunts with the drinks. A lot of fun. What about some dining tips? The first one is for best interactive restaurant. Go to Le Petit Chef. Oh, yeah. It's a show on top of your plate. It's so amazing. Yeah, you got a little tiny chef, little French chef, preparing your meal right on the tabletop and on your plate, and、uh, it's very cool, very interactive. It's very fun. Yep, and we went the first night.、Mm-hmm. The waiter told us we were smart to go the first night.、Um, we just accidentally did it the first night, but he said that's the slowest night, so that's a better time to go and get the best service. Right, it's not as full,、yeah. so it's more roomy.、Mm-hmm. And the best restaurant for date night is I would go to Fine Cuts. It is a steakhouse, but they do offer seafood also, so you can have your surf and turf.、Mm-hmm. I was able to get a, a beautiful nine ounce filet mignon, so good. Yeah, that's a good recommendation. It's a nice romantic, dimly lit restaurant. It's it's probably the most romantic of the the ones on board. Good date night, good recommendation. And the best Asian restaurant that I would recommend is. Raw on five,、mm. you're able to get sushi and tempura. It's、nice. so good. Yeah, and for more on celebrity cruises, watch this video next.